Namaste, Dhanava Pranam. By the instruction and grace of our spiritual master, Om Vishnu Bhad Paramahamsa, Sripad Bhakti Madhava Puri Maharaj, we are here reading Srimad Bhagavatam. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Canto 3, The Status Quo, Chapter 26, Text 56. Nirbi bedha virha just fag, Romas masriv hadhayas tata, Tata o sadhayas chasan, Sishnam nirbi bidhe tata. Then the universal form of the Lord, the Virat Purusha, manifested his skin, and thereupon the hair, mustache, and beard appeared. After this, all the herbs and drugs became manifested, and then his genitals also appeared. Purport. The skin is the site of the touch sensation. The demigods who control the production of herbs and medicinal drugs are the deities presiding over the tactile sense. Twenty-seven. Ritas tas mad apa asan, nirha bidhyata vai gudam, gudhad apano panacha, mritur loka bayankara. After this, semen, the faculty of procreation, and the god who presides over the waters appeared. Next appeared an anus and then the organs of defection, oh, the organs of defecation and thereupon the god of death, who is feared throughout the universe. Purport. It is understood herewith that the faculty to discharge semen is the cause of death. Therefore, yogis and transcendentalists who want to live for greater spans of life voluntarily restrain themselves from discharging semen. The more one can restrain the discharge of semen, the more one can be aloof from the problem of death. There are many yogis living up to 300 or 700 years by this process. And in Bhagavatam, it is clearly stated that discharging semen is the cause of horrible death. The more one is addicted to sexual enjoyment, the more susceptible he is to a quick death. Text 58. Astochanira <laughs> Thereafter, the two hands of the universal form of the Lord became manifested, and with them, the power of grasping and dropping things. And after that, Lord Indra appeared. Next, the legs became manifested, and with them, the process of movement. And after that, Lord Vishnu appeared. Purport. The deity presiding over the hands is Indra, and the presiding deity of the movement is the Supreme Personality of Godhead Vishnu. Vishnu appeared on the appearance of the legs of the Virat Purusha. 59. Najosya nira vidyanta abhyolohitam abritam nadyastata samhabhavan the veins of the universal body became manifested, and thereafter the red corpuscles, or blood. In their wake came the rivers, the deities presiding over the veins, and then appeared an abdomen. Purport. Blood veins are compared to rivers. When the veins were manifested in the universal form, the rivers and the various planets were also manifested. The controlling deity of the rivers is also the controlling deity of the nervous system. In Ayurvedic treatment, those who are suffering from disease of nervous instability are recommended to take a bath by dipping into a flowing river. Text 60. <laughs> Samudrastve atayur abut atasya hridayam binam hridayan mana utitam. 
Next grew feelings of hunger and thirst, and in their wake came the manifestation of the oceans. Then a heart became manifest, and in the wake of the heart, the mind appeared. Purport. The ocean is considered to be the presiding deity of the abdomen, where the feelings of hunger and thirst originate. When there is an irregularity in hunger and thirst, one is advised, according to Ayurvedic treatment, to take bath in the ocean. Text 61. Manashas Chandra Mahajato, Budhir Budhir Girampati, Ahankaras Tato Rudras, Chitam Chaitas Tato Bhavat, After the mind, the moon appeared, intelligence appeared next, and after intelligence, Lord Brahma appeared. Then the false ego appeared, and then Lord Shiva. And after the appearance of Lord Shiva came consciousness and the deity presiding over consciousness. Purport. The moon appeared after the appearance of mind, and this indicates that the moon is the presiding deity of mind. Similarly, Lord Brahma, appearing after intelligence, is the presiding deity of intelligence. And Lord Shiva, who appears after false ego, is the presiding deity of false ego. In other words, it is indicated that the moon god is in the mode of goodness, whereas Lord Brahma is in the mode of passion, and Lord Shiva is in the mode of ignorance. The appearance of consciousness after the appearance of false ego indicates that from the beginning, material consciousness is under the mode of ignorance, and that one therefore has to purify himself by purifying his consciousness. This purificatory process is called Krishna consciousness. As soon as the consciousness is purified, the false ego disappears. Identification of the body with the self is called the false identification or false ego. Lord Chaitanya confirms this in his Sikshastaka. He states that the first result of chanting the Maha Mantra, Hare Krishna, is that dirt is cleared from the consciousness or the mirror of the mind. And then at once the blazing fire of material existence is over. The blazing fire of material existence is due to false ego. But as soon as the false ego is removed, one can understand his real identity. At that point, he is actually liberated from the clutches of Maya. As soon as one is freed from the clutches of false ego, his intelligence also becomes purified, and then his mind is always engaged upon the lotus feet of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. The Supreme Personality of Godhead appeared on the full moon day as Gora Chandra, or the spotless transcendental moon. The material moon has spots on it, but on the transcendental moon, Gora Chandra, there are no spots. In order to fix the purified mind in the service of the Supreme Lord, one has to worship the spotless moon, Gaur Chandra. Thus, um, those who are materially passionate or those who want to exhibit their intelligence for material advancement in life are generally worshippers of Lord Brahma. And persons who are in the gross ignorance of identifying with the body worship Lord Shiva. Materialists like Hirani Kashipu and Ravana are worshippers of Lord Brahma or Lord Shiva. But Prahlad and other devotees in the service of Krishna, consciousness, worship the Supreme Lord, the Personality of Godhead. Text 62. Ete hi deva. Naivasyo tapaneshakan, punhar avi vishukani, tam utapai tam kramat. When the demigods and the presiding deities of the various senses were thus manifested, they wanted to wake their origin of appearance. But upon failing to do so, they re entered the body of the Virat Purusha one after another in order to wake him. Purport. In order to wake the sleeping deity controller within, one has to rechannel the sense activities from concentration on the outside to concentration on the inside. 
in the following verses, the senses activities, uh, the sense activities which are required to awake the Virat Purusha will be explained very nicely. 63. Anirvacha mukam beje no dati stat tadha virat pranena nasi ke vayor no dati stat tadha virat the god of fire entered his mouth and with the organ of speech but the virat purusha could not be aroused then the god of wind entered his nostrils with the sense of smell, but still the Virat Purusha refused to be awakened. 64. Akshini chakshus hadityo nodati stat tadha virat shrotrena karno chadisho nodati stat tadha virat the sun god entered the eyes of the Virat Purusha with the sense of sight, but still the Virat Purusha did not get up. Similarly, the predominating deities of the directions entered through his ears with the sense of hearing, but still he did not get up. 65. Tvacham Romha Bir Osadyo Nodati Stat Tadha Virat Retasto sishnam apastu, nodati stat tadha virat. The predominating deities of the skin, herbs, and seasoning plants entered the skin of the virat root, of the virat purusha, with the hair of the body. But the cosmic being refused to get up even then. The god predominating over the water entered his organ of generation with the faculty of procreation. But the Virat Purusha still would not rise. 66. Gudham ritur apanena, no dati stat tadha virat, hasta bindro balenaiva, no dati stat tadha virat. The god of death entered his anus with the organ of defecation, but the Virat Purusha could not be spurred to activity. The god Indra entered the hands with their power of grasping and dropping things, but the Virat Purusha would not get up even then. 67. Vishnur Gatyaiva Charano, Nodati Stat Tadha Virat, Nadir Najo Lohitena, Nodati Stat Tadha Virat. Lord Vishnu entered his feet with the faculty of locomotion. But the Virat Purusha refused to stand up even then. The rivers entered his blood vessels with the blood and the power of circulation, but still the cosmic being could not be made to stir. 68. Trutribdyam udaram sindur, nodati stat tadha virat, chandro, nodati stat tadha virat. The ocean entered his abdomen with hunger and thirst, but the cosmic being refused to rise even then. The moon god entered his heart with the mind, but the cosmic being would not be roused. 69. Buddha Brahma Pihridayam Nodati Stat Tadhavirat Rudro Bhimhatya Hridayam Nodati Stat Tadhavirat Brahma also entered his heart with intelligence, but even then the cosmic being could not be prevailed upon to, to get up. Lord Rudra also entered his heart with the ego, but even then the cosmic being did not stir. 70. Chitena hridayam chaitya, chetragya pravishadyada, virat tadhaiva purusha, salida. Salilad Udatistata. However, when the inner controller, the deity presiding over the consciousness, entered the heart with reason, at that very moment the cosmic being arose from the causal waters. 71. 
yatha prashuptam purusham pranhenendriya manodiya prabhavanti vinayena notha payitam ojasa when a man is sleeping, all his material assets, namely the vital energy, the senses for recording knowledge, the senses for working, the mind and intelligence, cannot arouse him. He can be aroused only when the super soul helps him. Purport. The explanation of Sankhya philosophy is described here in detail in the sense that the Virat Purusha, or the universal form of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, is the original source of all the various sense organs and their presiding deities. The relationship between the Virat Purusha and the presiding deities or the living entities is so intricate that simply by exercising the sense organs, which are related to their presiding deities, the Virat Purusha cannot be aroused. It is not possible to arouse the Virat Purusha or to link with the Supreme Absolute Personality of Godhead by material activities. Only by devotional service and detachment can one perform the process of linking with the Absolute. Text 72. Samasmin pratyag atmanam diya yoga pravrittaya bhaktya viraktya jnanena vivichyatmani chintayat. Therefore, through devotion, detachment and advancement in spiritual knowledge acquired through concentrated devotional service, one should contemplate that super soul as present in this very body, although simultaneously apart from it. Purport. One can realize the super soul within oneself. He is within one's body, but apart from the body or transcendental to the body. Although sitting in the same body as the individual soul, the super soul has no affection for the body, whereas the individual soul does. Therefore, one has to detach himself from this material body by discharging devotional service. It is clearly mentioned here, Bhaktiya, that one has to execute devotional service to the Supreme. As it is stated in the first canto, second chapter of Srimad Bhagavatam 1.2.7, Vasudeve Bhagavati Bhakti Yoga Prayojita. When Vasudeva, the all pervading Vishnu, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, is served in completely pure devotion, detachment from the material world immediately begins. The purpose of Sankhya is to detach oneself from material contamination. This can be achieved simply by devotional service to the Supreme Personality of Godhead. When one is detached from the attraction of the material, uh, from the attraction of material prosperity, one can actually concentrate his mind upon the super soul. As long as the mind is distracted towards the material, there is no possibility of concentrating one's mind and intelligence upon the supreme personality of Godhead or his partial representation, super soul. In other words, one cannot concentrate one's mind and energy upon the Supreme unless one is detached from the material world. Following detachment from the material world, one can actually attain transcendental knowledge of the absolute truth. As long as one is entangled in sense enjoyment or material enjoyment, it is not possible to understand the absolute truth. This is also confirmed in Bhagavad Gita 18.54. One who is freed from material contamination is joyful and can enter into devotional service, and by devotional service, he can be liberated. In the Srimad Bhagavatam, first canto, it is stated that one becomes joyful by discharging devotional service in that joyful attitude. One can understand the science of God or Krishna consciousness. Otherwise, it's not possible. The analytical study of the elements of material nature and the concentration of the mind upon the super soul are the sum and substance of, Sankhya philosophy, uh, of the Sankhya philosophical system. The perfection of this Sankhya yoga culminates in devotional service unto the absolute truth. Thus end the Bhaktivedanta purports of the third canto, 26th chapter of Srimad Bhagavatam, entitled Fundamental Principles of Material Nature. And thus ends our reading for today. We'll continue from text 27, Understanding Material Nature, on Friday. Were there any comments or questions from the assembled devotees?
Hi, I'm Vishnu Pad Paramahamsa Shri Pad Bhakti Madhava Puri Maharaj Ki Jai. Jai Shri La Prabhupada Shri Guru Maharaj Shri La Guru Dei Shri La Chari Dei Shri La Shanta Maharaj Ki Jai. Jai Rupa Nuga Guru Varga Ki Jai. Sample devotees are glorious. Why devotees? Sama Bhakti Veda Vrinda Ki Jai. Ki Jai. Jai Navadweep Dham Ki Jai. Nishanga Puri Dham Ki Jai. Maya Puri Dham Ki Jai. Jagannath Puri Dham Ki Jai. Jai Subhadra Jagannath Ju Ki Jai. Jai Yamuna Mai Ki Jai. Jai Avindam Ki Jai. Jai Gupta Govardhan Dham Ki Jai. Radakun ki jai, Tosi Devi, Bhakti Devi, Vrinda Devi. Jai Shimad Bhagavatam ki jai, Jai Kirtan Yagi ki jai, Sant Kirtan Yagi ki jai, Princeton Bhakti Vedanta Institute ki jai, Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Institute ki jai, Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Mat ki jai, Nitai Gaur Premanandi, Shimati Uma Devi Das ki jai. Hare Krishna. 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 Hare